you take it that way? And is that something that maybe you can handle a little bit better than some other players? The fact that you know he expects so much of you that he might come off a little harder on you? Yeah, um, I think that um, I think it's a good thing, uh, better than a bad thing, I guess, because uh, I've always been told, like growing up, that if a coach isn't on you, then he doesn't believe in you. So I just take it as he has a lot of belief in me, and he doesn't want to settle for less for anything for me. So um, I definitely take it as a challenge. How was the ankle doing? Good. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, I've, me and RJ have been doing like three to four treatments a day. So um, it's been it's been going a lot better now. It's probably about one or two a day now. So, uh, but last week we probably spent like twenty hours out of the out of the day together every day. So. Um, he's been he's been on top of it and it's it's been improving. You went back to the hotel that oh, I guess you guys flew back to Lincoln that night where you joined punch the wall. It's like yeah. you finally get the stuff going and then you have a little setback yeah. again. It was bad, especially because I had my family down there. Yeah. So um, they don't really get. I mean, some of my family gets to see me more than others, but uh, I was just frustrated for that and just because I mean I always want to be able to help the team out, but um, and then they kind of went on a run. I saw because I could I was on the side, but I could still see so. I was just, I was all types of frustrated, but um, they pulled it out, so it was, it was all good for me. This is only your second time playing Creighton. What does this rivalry mean to you and the fact that you have so many guys that have only played Creighton a handful of times in their career? Yeah, I mean, this will be my first game at Creighton, so uh, I'm hoping it'll be a good one. Uh, Who you heard? Uh, well, we played here last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. at Creighton, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I know I heard it's going to be, it's going to be a fun crowd to play against, and, uh, um, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's a rivalry game, so it's big for us. It's just, it's almost as important, um, not like conference-wise, but like it's it's a big game for us. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to competing with them and hopefully coming out on top. Can you tell it's a big game to Coach Miles? Yeah, um, that's yeah, especially Coach Miles because he's. I mean, we came off a big win, so we kind of had we came into practice kind of like nonchalant, I guess you could say. And uh, Coach Miles, he wasn't he wasn't having any of that, so. <laughs> He's ready to go. He's fired up. Um, he wants to beat those guys bad, and I mean, we do too. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a big game for us. What's the challenge in facing a team like that? Well, I mean, they're, they're averaging, I think, 104 at home. So uh, that's, that's the first challenge, <laughs> stopping them from getting 100 points. Uh, I don't think we've scored over 100 this year yet. So, I mean, if we want to have a chance to win, we can't let them score 100, uh, which, which is good because Coach Mo even said he's, he said, he always loves playing teams that average 100 points because we're going to hold them to 80 or 70. So um, that will be the first challenge for us. And then just staying in the moment, not letting the crowd get to us, not have anybody trying to play hero ball, take it one-on-one -on -one, um, because they play as a team. They average like 20 assists a game. So they're not going to try to go hero ball on us, so we can't do it to them either. When you guys go small and you're at the five, what's that like for you? Is that something you ever did in high school? Yeah. In high school, um, I kind of had like the same type of role. I could – play the point forward, bring the ball up, uh, guard the four, guard the five, switch all positions on defense. So, yeah, I'm kind of um, – it's something I did in high school a lot, a lot more than last year because last year I didn't really have the, the strength or, I guess, the speed or just, like, the, the um, mental side of the game to do it as much and be good at it. But um, it's definitely a thing that it helps us a lot, being able to play me and Cope at the four and five, um, be a little bit more um, versatile both on offense and defense. So I like, I like it a lot. The way Glenn has been playing, they're obviously probably going to have him high on their priority list. Yeah. How important is it for other guys to step up and help him out to where you know he's not out there having to try and do it all on his own? Yeah, that's big um, because I mean, like I said, it's it's tough, especially with a team that um, they packed the lane, so it's going to be hard for him to get in there anyway. And um, he's going to need us to help him help him out a lot, especially against um, a team like Creighton. So um, I mean, everybody's going to be going to have to step up tomorrow and play good if we want to have a chance to win. Coming off the Minnesota game, did, did, uh, did you get the feeling that things are closer to clicking more regularly after a game like that? You guys, you, now you have a full tape of 40 minutes of really good basketball. Is that yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it was just, I don't know what it was kind of. It was kind of just like maybe the crowd got us going or something. But um, watching the tape, you could definitely see a different team. We, have, we still have a lot to improve on, um, which is a good thing because if you beat the number four team, number 14 team in the country and you got you didn't play a perfect game then I mean you got a lot more to show so um yeah it's, it's definitely encouraging and it, it shows that we can do it with anybody so uh yeah it was it was definitely a good thing for us 
from protections, obviously, but it's friends you guys this year. Is there a friendly competition going on between you and Isaac and Ruby <laughs> as far as who can block more shots? No, I don't think so. But, <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe subliminally, but I don't know. Doobie, Doobie's – I'm not sure who's in the league. Right oh, now. okay. Well, that's good then. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Doobie's, Doobie's blocks – well, I mean, a couple of his have been called goaltends, and they should be. But, no, it's it's been – um. That's also been different for us, and it's it's obviously helping. Because, I mean, I think our defense is a lot, um, like, just like numbers-wise, is a lot better this year than last year. And I think that's one big part of it is just rent protection and um, also guarding the three a lot better this year. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I can stay on top of that, I guess. <laughs> you guys seem to be a little more energized defensively the other night. Did, yeah. did, did that – do you have that sense? Or yeah. Did it, did it come from a prep, pep talk or from prep, or how, where do you think it came from? I don't know, actually. We it was just it was a good good game plan. Coach Hunter had the scout um, good good game plan by Coach Hunter, and then um, we kind of had like a lighter practice because we had Michigan State two days before, and then the day after we did practice, but it was lighter. So maybe that's the key. Maybe we just need lighter practices or something. <laughs> but yeah, it was it, we had we had like that um, like kind of like a defensive fire that it looked like that's like fun. yeah, it was a lot of fun to play like that because I mean when you're frustrating another team and taking away what they do best. And like you can see their frustration. That's that's always fun. How much does that rim protection help you on every level of defense? Then, like if you're protecting the rim well, uh, you defend the three well. How does that translate? Yeah. Um, well, I think one of the biggest things is that we're chasing people off the line. So even if um, I don't know, like once you chase somebody off the line and they start scrambling, the defense starts scrambling, and then the offense is kind of out of their rhythm, um, and they might take a questionable shot at the rim. That's easy to block. So I think yeah, just overall, just um, just flying around on defense is helping us out a lot at, at all three levels, both three uh, mid-range and at the rim, too. Thanks, sir.